Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for my nutrition plan with me from March 26th to um, April 1st, which is also Easter. Um, I was going to do, try to do something Eastery, but I just, there wasn't one that I wanted to use for this week on here. So I'm not gonna worry about the Easter on this kit. I'm gonna do it in the next one. I mean, I do it my normal one. So here is just a planning kit that I have from ANC stickers from ages ago. And I'm like, you know what? I might as well use some of these older kits that I haven't used in this planner because as much as I love them, they're not as special to me, if that makes sense. Okay, so we have lots of functional stickers, headers, littles, some little things up here up top. We have um, half boxes and we have lots of little things and uh, full boxes. The problem with the dark full boxes like that is that they're hard to write in. And you have all of the deco full boxes. Then you have your washi, your date cover-ups, and that's it. Okay, so we will go ahead and get started really quickly. Oopsie. Number 27 tried to roll away. So, um, I need to sweep because <laughs> I just got dust on my thing. It's, it's funny, I will sweep my whole room and then I'll leave like this little area right where I'm sitting. I'll forget to get get to it, so I need to do that. That's definitely gonna be on. I need to do this week when I sweep up the rest of my room again. Just sweep it like every couple of days. I've got cats and lately I've been sweeping it every day because I'm trying not to be lazy. Ugh. Okay, so we have this one, this one, and this one first. Let's go all along the top. All right, I'm gonna make her my little quote box because she's cute. And just remember try to line it up with the little things right there. So that way it's semi-straight. So this week, um, I had a really, really bad Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Saturday was like a really bad eating day for me. We ate a lot of processed foods. I'm trying to be better about having that kind of stuff, about not eating it. But I was just in the mood for a bologna sandwich and they make vegan bologna. And it tastes really good. And so it's one of those, you know, horrible things for me to be eating, but it was really good. And I had that and I had chips for lunch and then I had something equally as bad for dinner. It was just, it was a bad day. It was a bad eating day. Today so far has been better, but it has not been great. But I need to get this done because it is already middle of the afternoon. And if I don't write down what I eat as I do it, I kind of forget. And I've already forgotten enough this week. I don't need to forget anymore. So that is my objective and my objective is also to start working out again because I'm feeling better finally. Not a hundred percent, but a thousand times better than I was. So that is going to be a goal for this week is to get my butt back in gear and start working out again. Especially if I have this huge um, trip coming up, I want to make sure that I am prepared for all of the walking that a trip to Europe entails. And that gives me a couple of months to get my butt back in shape, go on some hikes, that kind of stuff to re-prepare myself. Well, that's funny. Look, it actually lines up. The header really lines up with the full box. That's funny. I did not do that on purpose, I swear. Um, but, I am looking for, I gotta, I gotta get all that, I gotta get myself back into the right shape so that way I don't kill myself trying to hike up mountains and stuff. That may be hiking mountains or anything, but Caleb has like hike ideas going on for when we're in Dublin. He's like, okay, so we're gonna go do this and go do this. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. He wants to go to Ireland and he wants to go hiking in Ireland. And I am not going to say no to that child about hiking in Ireland. If we're gonna go to Ireland, why not go hike? He's really excited about that part of it. Everyone seems to have their own 
most excited moments. I am excited about the whole trip, but he is excited about certain aspects of the trip and that is his the aspect that he's most excited about. So if you haven't seen any of my other videos and don't know what I'm talking about, um, my husband goes on deployment the beginning of May and uh, military perk, when your spouse is on deployment, you get to take as many flights anywhere in the world that you want on military planes. So all you have to do is just get picked. You have to make sure you wait in line. If, you, if you're in line for a certain flight and your flight comes up and there's an opening for you to get on, it's called it's a space available. It's like being on standby. So as long as you, there's room for you, you can fly anywhere you want. And it's a little on the special side when it comes to uh, deployments because we live what's called a CONUS. We don't, we, we don't live, we live overseas. Even though we still live in a territory of the United States and we still have um, the U.S. Postal Service, that kind of stuff it's still considered overseas. It's still considered being in a foreign country. So I can fly anyways. I don't have to wait until my husband goes on deployment. I can fly back to the States to visit family. However, I do have to um, wait for my husband to go on deployment to be able to do any flying outside of the United States on the other side in Europe. And I also have to wait for him to be home, to be um, on deployment to fly through the United States. So right now I can fly from here to the states, the state side. I usually go into California; it's the easiest. And then I have to fly commercially from there. But once I finish all of this, and he's on deployment then I will be able to fly anywhere in the world that I want. So my, we have this huge trip and all we have to do is pay for food and lodging. We don't have to pay for any of the actual flights. And so we're trying very hard to take advantage of this. And we want to go see the world. And as of right now, we don't have any concrete plans. We want to go back to Seattle, which is our home, for a week to visit family and friends. We were going to do that at the very beginning of our trip, where it's going to be our first stop. That way we could make sure that we got them in. But my dad is having a little bit of a problem with us coming that soon because he has to be, out, he's going to be out of town for a little while. And so we have to like work around his schedule. And because we're working around his schedule, I have to find a new way to do this. So what we're gonna do is instead of going from here to Seattle, which is what we planned on doing, we're gonna go from here to California and then we're gonna hop from California to Florida. And then when we're in Florida, we're gonna pick up, you know, as of right now, bearing any complications, we're gonna pick up um, my boy's best friend and um, we're gonna take him with us and we're gonna go up to New Jersey and visit friends. I keep hearing a computer restarting. <laughs> I couldn't figure out where it was coming from and I realized it was coming from my laptop that's all messed up. Um, but anyways, we're going to go and pick up Jace and then once we have Jace, oh my God, this thing's crooked. I can do this, I swear I can do this. Okay, then once we pick up Jace, we're gonna go up to Connecticut, or we'll go to Connecticut first and then go pick up Jace. I have no idea how we're doing this just yet. And then Chris is gonna meet us somewhere along the way. I don't know where she's gonna meet us just yet. She's gonna meet us in Seattle and go with us from there, but since we have to move the Seattle trip, it's not a good idea to meet us there. But she's gonna meet us somewhere. And then we're going to hop over to Europe together. And we're gonna spend like a month in Europe. So we're gonna spend like a week in Florida visiting 
the family that we're hijacking a child from, but I'm not sure if we're gonna visit on the front side or the back side. And then we're going to, um, like I said, hop over to Connecticut to visit friends there and then go to Europe. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it just yet because our original plan was to go from Seattle to Connecticut to um, the UK and then go directly to Dublin from there because we're gonna be on the east side of England and the east side of England has the airport that has the cheaper flights. Sorry, I'm doing this whole thing upside down. This is driving me nuts, I couldn't get it on straight. Um, but it's got the cheaper flights to Dublin. And so it's like 50 bucks round trip if we fly out of East London. If we fly out of Heathrow, it's a lot more expensive. So we're gonna stay in East London, we're gonna come in that way, go straight over to Dublin, then come back from Dublin and spend a week in London itself. And then we were going to hop from London and take the channel over to the main Europe continent. And we wanted to go to Amsterdam for a couple of days and Brussels for a day. And then we wanted to go to, uh, from there to France and spend a week in France. Okay. Now the washi's changed, it's different length now. But after we spent our week in France, we were going to go over and if I can make this work without looking too stupid. We're gonna go and go to Germany and then from Germany we can hop home. And then after we hit Germany, we would go, yeah, we'd go home. We'd go back to Florida. We would stay, we would stay in Florida for a week and then we were gonna come back to California and then back home. But because my dad isn't gonna be home, we have to redo some of this stuff. And the problem is, is that I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work now. Cause now we have to hit, now we're gonna hit Florida twice. So we have to go hit Florida first and then we have to come back to drop Jace off to hit Florida a second time which I don't mind at all. I'm really excited that Jace gets to come with us. I was hoping the whole family could come, but you know, you pick what you can get. And then um, we need to go back to Washington. So I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work yet. So the only big bump in the road is Washington now, which sucks because it's home. And so I can't like just skip it. We were gonna go to Alaska and stuff too, but we decided to skip Alaska for now because we just don't have the time to do that one. So I'm okay with skipping Alaska. I'm just not okay with skipping home. I know my dad would feel horrible if he found out that I was like not coming home because I couldn't make it and he wasn't gonna be there. So I'm gonna try to make it to make sure we can get there. I just need to have timelines for him so he can get off of work and What did I track before? I tracked sleep. Oh, it's right, sleep. I'm doing better with my sleep. I have not tracked the last two days though, so. I'm bad, I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use this though. I thought for a second there I wasn't gonna use anything off this page. But that's what I'm working on right now is planning all this stuff out and I'm gonna try to have some videos up for you guys so that you guys don't have nothing. But it's definitely not going to be as good as it normally is. We won't have as many videos. It's gonna be something little, like I'll do a couple little goofy videos that I've been wanting to do forever that I haven't done yet. I'll do those videos. And then um, I'll do things like, then I'll do things like, um, I wanted to do, I wanna make a, my brain stopped working all of a sudden, I'm sorry. I want to make, a video on how to make um, book sleeves. So I thought that that would be a really good option to do. Um, make some book sleeves on the channel and 
have that go up while I'm gone because I've been wanting to do that forever. And then I could do a bunch of like little goofy videos. Like I wanted to do a tag video and I kind of want to do like a reading TBR while I'm gone because I'm not bringing my books with me. I'm only bringing my Kindle and audiobooks. Um, sorry, my son was out the door. I lost train of thought. But I wanted to do like a TBR of like, this is these are the books that I have on my Kindle because I have a ton of books on my Kindle. And you guys never see what's on my Kindle. So I wanna change that. I wanna show you what's on my Kindle for my trip, you know, what I'm planning on reading, what I'm hoping to read. And I'll do like a update on what I actually am reading while I'm gone. And yeah, so I don't, I don't have a ton, ton planned, but I do have a few things I would like to do while I'm gone. So that way you guys have some videos to watch while I'm away, as well as the updates that I'm hoping that you'll get a lot of while I'm gone. I wanna have like a full like, you know, reading travel vlog. This is what we did when we were abroad. This is where we stopped. This is what we did. This is who we saw, that kind of thing. I think that would be fun. And I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait for this trip. I kind of wish, I kind of hate that we have to wait until June to go. I want to leave as soon as we can and we can leave in May, but we can't leave until my daughter's out of school. Okay, so there we go. That is my plan with me. And I just rattled on about this trip the entire time and didn't tell you anything. So this is what we have left. Some deco, date dots, and then a couple little sidebar things. All the washi is gone. I need to throw away my washi from my last one too. Um, then we have a couple of half boxes and a bunch of little stuff left, which I can totally use for later. We have one box and a couple of quarter boxes, two little check boxes. Oh, look, it's a Happy Mail. Here's on my other one. Uh, we have lots of little um, littles, and then we have headers. A couple of extra little ones like exercise and dinner, work to clean, Etsy to buy. I'm gonna try to stay away from Etsy. So if you see a drastic decline in my book buying and my sticker buying, you'll know why. And then we also have this sheet that's almost completely full. Well, I took this, the header off. But I have lots of stickers left for other uses. And this is my nutrition planner and I hope you like it. And let me know what you think about my trip and what kind of videos you'd like to see while I'm gone. Um, I am hoping to be able to check out some good bookstores and to um, update my memory keeper. But I just need some ideas. So let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.